Okay. Excuse me. Okay. Shiv Haran. Sir Haran. Rabbi Nisi Asim and So basically, these two men were putting the Rebbe down and deriding him. All kind of business. And the Rebbe suffered everything. He just took everything. And he would not let him be shumpani of who he is. And not only this, but he deceived them and confused them. And each time, and whenever he would do this, they would dump on him even more. Uh, that, that he's, so they, 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 they dump on him, they, they, they put him down because he's changing his words all the time. Sometimes he spoke to them that they thought he was for sure from the town of Lagona. This is a town next to Italy. And then he saw that it's not like that. And they, 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 they derided him a great deal. Then another time he spoke to them and it seemed to them he is the, 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 the son of the Magid from Komarna. There was a big machlokes with him at that, at that time. In the middle there, suddenly, Rabbi Yisrael started cursing the Komarna. I said, Rabbi, it's your father. What do you mean you are cursing him out? So they realized that they still couldn't figure him out. And each time he had a different name. He used to call him, and he would turn around, yes, and he would come. And sometimes they called him Shayao. That's the son of the Komarna's name, to see. And he came. So he says, Avada is the son of the commander. He says, Avada, you are his son. So they will prove to them, he's not his son. And then they started speaking about the gift that the commander sent to his son. So the says, immediately said, yeah, please give me my gift and this and that. They should show me his gift. He says, ah, he is his son. And after they spoke to him, and they, and, they, and they cursed him. And they were very scared and they were extremely angry with him. And they put him down and they humiliated him to no end. And they asked him, why are you saying now that your name is like this? And then you're saying that your name is like that. And this is the, this is the you're coming from this place, and then you're saying you come from that place. So you asked him, every name is a different sphere. Whatever I'm holding, which sphere I'm holding, this is Baruch Hashem, I'm included of all of them put together. And everything that was talking about him, is, is, there's not enough paper to write everything that went on. The Rebbe Zechonovov used to waking up sometimes from the sleep and started talking to them until they became extremely angry. They started putting him down and cursing him out. And Erev Shabbos Kurdish, they came from the mikveh, and the Rebbe was, was, was lying on a bench <coughs> without shoes and without a belt and without a hat. And he asked them, why the entire week my body is so light? I don't have no heaviness. Now I have great heaviness. The Ammamash I cannot stand. He said, because every Shabbos Kodesh, every Shabbos Kodesh, this Neshama goes up, and the Shabbos Kodesh comes down, and by you the Neshama goes up, and the Shabbos Kodesh says, you're not so yachim, because so your body remains like a stone. So the Rebbe says, oh, to you. Whoa, to you, even such a small thing, you don't know what to say. And he asked them, they should accept him on Shabbos Kodesh, and they wouldn't have it. The Shabbos, they accepted the man that was with Rabbeinu, that was by them, by Shabbos, but him they didn't want to have. And he has to have, he had to have uh, dairy food because they, did, because they didn't want to eat meat there. Only him, they had, they had a shechet over them. The Shabbos had a big machlokas with him. They wanted to push him outside because he came into them, even though he didn't eat with them. They started arguing with him. They, started, they wanted Mamish to push him to throw him out. It was a big noise. In the morning was the same thing. The cloud over the principle is the Rebbe did everything with Havona and he let them put him down and curse him out and humiliate him any which way. And he told the man who was with him that these humiliations would be a big, big toy for him going to SSO and coming back. He says, because the the... the the greatness of the obstacles that stood on the way to go to come to Israel is impossible to fathom in human mind. It was not possible to come to Israel unless you get to the cotton she the cottons and manage to become the smallest of the small. As Rabbi afterwards said in the first, 
And he says, if you wouldn't have this bizarreness, and even this cutness, this, this constricted consciousness, it was not possible to count as a slow b'chlal. And he said that he saw that he has to stay in Istanbul, in other words, to die there. But the smallness and the bizarreness and the humiliations and the derision he suffered saved him. Because before he comes to Esau, he has to come to Katniss. And afterwards, Rabbeinu Zichon Rocha ordered the man who was with him to give these people from the food and the drinks and, and, and the comfortures that they had with them, to give them for everything. And they, they, these people came, went home and would not get a letter from Abeno to his house, only from the person that was with him. They had a, a letter. Rabbeinu Zvalev Rocha put his own letter inside the letter of the, that other person. And these people that wanted to open the, the letters of this person, maybe they could understand from it something about his own of who he is, where he's coming from, but they couldn't find where it was, because suddenly disappeared. They didn't remember where, where did they put this letter. And, and it didn't come, and that, they couldn't find this letter until they came to the, 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 uh, the Kamer in Valichai. Kamer, that's, that's the, 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 um, the customs office in the, 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 the town of Valichai, which is in the border of Romania. Then they found the letter, and then they saw from the letter that it was Abel. And they were so scared, and they didn't know what they had to do with themselves. And that person, the one of them, who was the chief tormentor of Rebbeinu when he came to his house and he passed away very, very close, very soon thereafter. But Hashem, tomorrow we'll continue. Now we go to the Sichas. We talked about how a person is supposed to strengthen himself in Emuna, Sichal Amidbeis. The da, you should know that there are various that bring heresy in a person. Some that have machshobas on the moon because they weren't born with proper kedusha, and they added on this their bad deeds by themselves, because there are various who who are very damaging to their moon, and for this you need a tremendous busha and a broken heart. It's somebody that has machakiras and machshobas and heresy. Radical Machshobah says he really needs to be incredibly ashamed that he was born with such Gashmias or he did such things and he would have such Machshobahs against the Amun HaKadosh and the Kovet HaKadosh Mocha which is filled, fills the land with Magloha Az Kavoyden and here comes to him Machshobahs Chas V'Sholem to chase him from, from the land of the living Chas V'Sholem from HaKadosh Mocha is Chai Echai Mesboch he says it's not necessary to explain the greatness of the shame that should come on a person that has such machshavas. You know, accepts with Busha Lev Nishbo. This is how you break all, all, all these things. The Be'emes de Muna is in Chazak Me'od. It's a very, very strong union. And a person's life through a Muna are very, very strong. And when he has a Muna, even if Chasa Khalila a person comes to Yisurim, he has to go through whatever person has to go through and he console himself and can give him chayas because the Kodesh Baruch Hu Zat Hashem will have Rachmonis on him and Zat Hashem will give him Yeshua to himself and in the meantime that which he's suffering is a toy v'gdoilo the kapara and atonement and the Basof HaKodesh Baruch Hu will, will do good with him ba'il mazeh or in oil ma'bo but someone does a mechake that has no emuno a minute that comes at sorry doesn't have who to turn to he doesn't have to to what to to what you know to to enliven himself, to to console himself. And, and somebody who has a shtikel sechel will understand. Will understand dom because he can't write everything down. The klal is that <coughs> the klal, the important the kula principle is a muna, with no questions, with no cynicism, with no just be strong with it in the oil and Ba'oil Mabo, and Bezat Hashem, you will never ever falter. He says also, you need to know that there are Neshamas Ksheris that were born in Kashas and did not spoil the Bo Hashem behave properly, and 
And when these kind and these machshavas don't come to them. And even when you speak before them with these inyanim, they don't care. It doesn't confuse them at all. It's like speaking about the, 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 the famous taiva, the sexual taiva, before a eunuch. It doesn't confuse him. It's like you know, talking about painting house. Gumisht. These kosher people, the same thing. It doesn't even go into their ears. This is in really, and in truth, all the kashas, all the questions, and all the kiras of, of the multitude of Am and Am is shtuyot, it's nonsense, and it's not kasha bechlar. It says there are many people that go around with the kasha for a long time, and really, his kasha is a teret, it's an answer. But see, it doesn't have a das, it seems to me like, wow, that's a gewaldige kasha. This is like you're asking a baby, a little child, that the window pane is broken in this window. So they take the glass from another window and they put it by there. No, so then the bird in the house will go through the hole in this window. So if you move it over here, then, you know, it'll go through this window. So when you're asking the baby in a small child like this, in other words, to put the turrets and the kasha together, it comes to like, I'm, whoa, it's a conundrum. There's no answer to this. He doesn't know what to say because it seems like a valdige kasha. But really it's a shtus. The kasha is that, that the bird will, that will fly is a turrets on the first kasha of shtus. You don't take a glass from here to there. You know, you don't replace the glass from this one because it will go for the other one. Only a, a small child, because his mind is so feeble, so small, he doesn't understand that taking the kasha and the terrace and putting them together. It's an unbelievable kasha. This is the brokenness window. You see, you take it from here and put it over here, but then it goes from over there. Oh. Oh. He totally loses himself. It's the same thing, people that have these kashas in their hearts. It's a kasha, the kasha is the terrace, but the Havona is so low that it looks like a Gewaldige You know, in the sense of the person has to run away from Kashas. Run away from all the Chkias, all the Shtisim, all the Bilbulim, but Mechazik Yisaf and the Muno. Again and again and again and again, more and more and more. Adkan for today.